In 2019, the French town Bronx went 7-2 and picked up a first round playoff win over Whitefish before losing to the eventual state champs, Miles City. This year, the Bronx are looking to grow off the success from last year, but lost senior All-State running back Jace Klusiewicz, who transferred to Sentinel. However, the Bronx are confident heading into Friday night, led by senior quarterback Wyatt Hayes. Throughout the year, it kind of seemed like everybody was like all dogging on French Town a little bit, but I mean, we're out here, we're ready to play. We want to just get out on the field and show what we got, I guess. The Bronx opened their season with Dylan for a second straight year. In 2019, it took two overtimes on the road, but the Bronx came out on top. It's going to be a battle again. I mean, I, I truly believe it. You look at uh, some of the guys that they've got returning, um, you know, some, some phenomenal athletes. They got some size. So I, I, I have a feeling that it's going to be probably similar to, to, uh, to last year's game as well. Coming out against a solid team can be a tough way to start the season, but Coach Nelson actually prefers it. I think it kind of sets the bar and it puts you at a level. Um, after your first game that going into week two and, and you know and, and so on I think that you're just you're already at an ele elevated playing. Regardless of tonight's outcome nearly every player or coach I've spoken with has just been simply thankful to be out on a football field under the lights once again. Like a little kid on Christmas morning right or waiting on Christmas morning I mean it's been a long time coming and even coming back to school you know it's just great to have kids in the building and, and uh, you know we finally get to be out here on a Friday night again and get after it so yeah very excited.